Here we go, video number seven, digitizing a pencil sketch. I'm going to get back into it here and see if we can't uh, get this finished up. Where we left off here, let me turn off the background picture here. Let's see how I do that. Here we go. Uh, the last video we did, the lady's dress here, um, obviously probably needs cleaned up a little bit, but I did not do that. Uh, this time we're going to do her face and then finally we will do her hair. We're going to do it last. So let's get back here and see. I'm not sure exactly where we left off. I believe we left off right, right down here at the base of her hair, the top of her shoulder there. So we're going to go from there. We're going to go up and um, I think we'll do her, we'll do her eyes first. Uh, her eyebrows at least connect into the nose on this side and remember we're not doing a multicolor thing here so I'm doing this in sections but this isn't necessarily sections by what color we're going to sew it we're kind of doing it in sections about a little bit about how it's layered and the way I look at this is um, her face could probably be done about any time but I kind of see her her hair being done last because it's kind of the last layer that I see um, there's no difference between her hair color and let's say her chin. We're going to do that all together um, because it kind of connects in there. Her hair actually defines the edge of her face and since there's no color difference that's that's all we have to worry about there is where, what layer it is not what color we're going to do. So we're going to start out here. Um, I'll get the manual tool and um, I'm going to step or move right up to the base of this eyebrow right up here and uh, let me back that up hit the backspace I'm gonna put a point there and one up there and I will right click finishing that off and we'll go over here and we'll get a hold of that stitch right there and we're gonna make that a jump stitch start with a jump we'll end with a jump and because of the distance it should trim I could set one of those to a trim if we're unsure of the distance, but it's far enough it should trim. So once we get uh, once we get our needle moved up to there, we're going to go ahead and get our running stitch tool. Now to do her eyebrow, I'm going to do it a little bit different than than his. His is a little rougher here. We just kind of did. I think they were just some manual stitches back and forth. We're going to try to make hers a little bit smoother here, give it a little more feminine look. So we're going to start from where we're at. We're just going to run stitches out and back. and I will probably have to zoom in a little bit to, but I think that'll be a smoother look less bushy uh, we'll get moved in here a little bit and then we will do this crease this is a skin crease right here where her eye opens so we'll make that a nice neat line like that. Now this up here, this is one of these things that you really have to run this design, actually sew the embroidery design uh, to actually see what you're going to get um, to see if we really like the way that is. Um, I'm going to go ahead and right click which will finish that off and um, we'll take a look at this because it it really it's really hard to tell on the screen and that's about actual size from where we started I think this was roughly five inches so we're gonna say that's roughly actual size well, maybe I turn on the 3d mode here it looks kinda of solid there I doubt if it'll look that solid sewn um, but it's you see how it's a much smoother look than than his so that I think that's important to to get a difference there so now we've got that crease turn on the background picture again and since we're already here, we're not going to step over here and do our eye. We'll go ahead and do that with the trim. But this line here, we're going to try to make this work. Come down here and we'll just go ahead and try to get her nose finished off. And we're just going to pick up whatever lines we see. Where it's heavier, like right there, we could do an extra set of lines. Come down here. Now again, this is heavier. Again, it's pretty much all just a matter of putting stitches where there's dark areas. We're gonna we're gonna ignore that little spot out there, 
if we connect it I don't think it would look right and I've done this in such a way that now I'm back to where I started so everything is is covered twice again here you could see we probably want to get in there and edit those points so that our stitches stand on top of each other um, half afraid to see what this is going to look like doesn't look as bad as I thought maybe this will maybe this will turn out pretty decent and while we're doing the eyebrow here we're going to go ahead and do the other eyebrow now I've moved back up here so this some of these lines are either twice or pretty much four times or just kind of some random stitching down in here um, but these lines have have been done twice here because we're back to where we started and I've already hit um, I've already hit right clicked so it's already drawn those stitches in turn on that 3d view and so I'm going to move over here and do this other eyebrow and I'm going to go ahead and pick that crease up this one's connected in I'm going to go ahead and connect this one in just for just to make it a little bit more uniform so I'll go back up here get my manual tool I'm going to go from here over to here right click I'm going to go ahead and select that stitch there and this time I'm going to start it with a jump I'm going to end it with a trim and hopefully that will make it trim as we go across there and we'll go back up here get our running stitch tool and we'll do these in kind of nice neat rows I'm not going to go all the way back down on that one. That line is going to get too heavy, so we'll just go part way down, back to where they connect. This one I'll go down, and then I'm going to pick up this crease line above her eye. Now this one doesn't connect into the nose, so we're just going to stop it right there. And it's kind of scary looking, but once we put some eyes in there, hopefully that'll look pretty good and we will go ahead and get our manual tool again this time I'm going to step back over here and I usually do that rather than go to the shortest point I, I, I usually make it just a little bit longer and I didn't do that right I'm going to, with my manual tool I'll plot a point there and there from where I am to where I'm going that seems to give me the right combination here then I right click then I always select that stitch and jump and it's a short distance I'm going to do jump and then trim and I didn't hit uh, anybody notice what I didn't do I didn't hit apply there we go if you don't hit apply it doesn't do anything that's just the way it should be now the same as with his eyes uh, we're basically going to outline this we're going to need to make this dark area solid these white dots are extremely important to make the eye look realistic. It's a very very small detail but I have learned that without that little bit of white um, the eye oh, it just looks I mean it's just solid and it just looks kinda eerie. Uh, the little bit of white which is actually pretty much like a reflection off the um, eyeball is very important to make it look realistic so we, we've really gotta make sure that hole opens up and we let that background through. I'm just going to use a running stitch and I'll do this whole thing as a running stitch because it's so small in here that putting in little satin stitches and I'm just going to go ahead and put a little extra here in this corner where it's a little darker and then I will manually put stitches kind of form my own satin stitch here by just putting some zigzags back and forth and then after we actually sew it we could see what we actually need as far as moving that a little more open and uh, let me turn that background off as you can see there we've got that opening and those should pull open pretty well um, we could move the stitches around again that's kind of an edit thing afterwards um, but for the size we're sewing I think that's probably going to come out pretty good uh, so we've kind of finished up that eye we'll do our manual trim over there again from there to oh, I don't know where over to here there we go uh, right click 
select the stitch, jump and trim, and we'll get our running stitch tool again. This eye we're going to do exactly like we did the other eye. We're going to get the outside done twice. Let's put another little line in there for that heavier area. And we're just going to manually form a little satin stitch. And we've got another eye. If it looks that good um, sewn, then we'd probably be in pretty good shape. So we need to get down here and finish off her mouth. And so we're going to get our manual tool again from the eye. We'll start, we'll go down to this corner of the mouth. Right click. Change this to jump and trim. We should have a dotted line. We should be good. Now here it's going to be pretty similar to what we've done with his. And the, the key here is defining just the areas we see as dark areas. And I'm going to work my way out here I guess a little bit further and then I'm going to go ahead and put this little dimple in. I don't know if that's a dimple or they call that a crease. We're going to go around the first time. We'll get this other dimple in. And similar to what we've done with his, is we don't want to make the teeth go all the way across. I, I think we had tried that on the other on his teeth and it didn't look quite right so we're kinda gonna mimic but we probably need to exaggerate a little bit the lines that show the definition of her teeth and the reason we exaggerate them a little bit is because of the of pull compensation when we step out and back that stitch will really tend to pull right back and be much shorter. So the only way we can compensate for it is to move it. You can't add pull compensation to a run stitch. Oh, let's see what this looks like. It looks a little scary when you're close. We're going to... I think that'll smooth off. This won't be quite so jagged when we actually sew it. You're going to see those maybe even hardly be noticeable. I think it's important that that we realize it's not going to sew like that. So I don't think it's going to look quite so jaggedy. I like the overall look of it as far as as the shape and that part kind of looks a little bit fangy like, but I think that will smooth out when we sew it. So we're going to have to call that as something that if it doesn't work out, we will fix it afterwards because there's really hardly any way to know for sure um, exactly what that's going to look like. So we got that finished off there. What I'm going to do is the next thing I do will be all her hair and it pretty much has to be all done together. This video I'm going to keep it real short just just that way um, and uh, do the next video of her hair and I guarantee you in that video I'm going to have to do sections of it pause the video and complete a section or the video is going to run very very long um, but we're going to use a couple different techniques in her hair but because it's hair and it's probably less um, I don't know the right word it's not quite as uniform as is hair we're going to try to make it look a little bit more random it's on the sides it's kind of a I'll call it a scrunch look uh, where there's hairs going a lot of different ways just because it's longer and um, and then like up here on her bangs and stuff there's a little more structure to it and maybe we'll use a little bit different technique there and again we won't know exactly what it looks like and unless we would sew it out 
but um, we're going to stop this video right here and the next one would be on the hair and hopefully we can finish it all up and maybe I can make the uh, file available to anybody that wants it wants to sew it out and maybe tweak it or anything like that we'll have this series all finished up so um, I'll get this one posted and we'll get the next one done and we'll get it um, ready for everybody to look at so we'll see you in the next video